Yeah, well, well okay, you close, right? Sure. Okay, cool. So let, let, let's say I said, come here, come up here for a minute. Guys, give him a round of applause. Come on, let's get him up here. I said I was going to get his ass anyway, so. But, but my point is, I want to hit him with something simple. Okay, you ready? So, um, an objection as a closer. What are objections that closers get? Would somebody be, I want to shop around, look at a couple more companies, something like that? Okay, cool. So, we're sitting here, we're at the kitchen table. Does everybody feel me? Where are we at? Kitchen table. Kitchen table. All numbers are presented. He's gone over everything with me. It's time to make a decision. Does that make sense? Okay, and I say, hey, man, I really appreciate you. Um, I want to look at two more companies. I'm going to get back with you. I'd say absolutely. I completely agree. You should look at two other companies. I'm completely confident with everything that I showed you. I showed up on time. I showed you guys the reviews. I showed you guys the price. There's to I, I totally get it. There's you know, probably better price out there, but you're not going to Do you really want to say that? What? I mean, I want to. Do you want to really say there's probably a better price out there? Well, Hold on. Do you yes or no? I have before, yes. Okay, all right, keep going. I was taught maybe somewhere else. Okay, but go ahead. It's okay. So, so Andy, there's probably a better price out there. So, yeah, we're not, we're not going to be the most expensive. We're not going to be the least expensive. But I, I assure you, like, from what everything that I've showed you here, that it's going to be the best price for the best value. You think that's going to close me? Probably not. Okay. Listen, here, here's what I want you to do. When I sold cars, I'm just going to give you a scenario, Okay. There were certain times in the deal where people would say, I need to think about it. Does that make sense? Okay. Like if I was outside on the lot, let's say I'm, let's say I'm at the front door. Does that make sense? Okay. You guys are setters in here. Have you ever heard somebody say, I need to think about it? Yeah. Ever? Absolutely. Cool. What'd you say? You think about it? Yeah, yeah. But what'd you say as a, as a setter? When somebody's like, oh man, thanks for giving me the information. I oh, need to think about it. Think about what? Of course yeah, you need to think about it. Okay. Okay, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers, so that way when you are sitting home and truly thinking about it, you'll have something to think about. Would that be fair? Could we get that for you? That way you have something to think about? Uh, guys, I, knew, I know you need to think about it because I haven't even given you anything to think about. Does that make sense? Like what would you think about? Like us having a conversation? No, you need something to truly think about it to see if solar's even right for you or your family. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, so let me get you the information, and then in the end, it's completely your decision. Is that fair? Guys, when I sold cars, I fucking closed 100% of the people I talked to, swear to God. And I'm going to explain this. I'd be outside on the lot, and I just want to give you these word tracks I learned. God would say, I need to think about it. I'd say, guys, of course you need to think about it. And I said, I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal of all the numbers, so when you go home, you truly got something to think about. Would that be fair? That'd be okay. Can I get that for you? And I'd put my hand out like that, and they'd fucking grab it. Dude, they weren't fucking going anywhere. Once I pulled them inside, I fucking closed their ass inside every time. But I had to advance the sell forward. Does that make sense? When I was on the pencil, right? When I was on the proposal, the numbers, the presentation, right? Guy says, I need to think about it. I'd say, guys, of course you need to think about it. Look, I've been doing this for a long time. And when somebody says they need to think about it, I've learned it's either one of two things. Number one, you're no longer interested in the vehicle. Like you don't like the car anymore, but I don't think that's it because we wouldn't have made it this far if you didn't like the car. So it leads me to believe it has to be the second thing, that something's concerning you guys within the numbers of the deal. What is it that's concerning you guys the most? Is it the price, the payment, or the trade-in? Which one? You know what they do? They fucking pick one. Now I go from I need to think about it to the price is too high, and I fucking close them on the paper. I brought them back to the deal. When somebody says they need to think about it, do you need to take them back to the deal? Yes, yes they need a little more information. They don't understand something. You gotta take them back. Okay, what if somebody, I'm sitting there outside and somebody says, hey, I got a couple more cars to go look at. What do you say? I totally understand. Hypothetically, everybody say hypothetically. 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 Let's say you've already gone and seen all the other vehicles. I don't know if there's two of them or 10. Doesn't matter. Let's just say you spent all day long and you went and drove them all, right? Let's say after driving them all, mine was the last one you went and looked at. After seeing every vehicle in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you'd probably end up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal? Or would it be the great deal that the dealership's willing to give you? Which one? Which one would it be? Probably the great deal. Cool. So it's not a matter of if you're going to buy, it's when. And the win's when the deal's right, right? Yeah? So if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset at, at me at all? No. Thank goodness. Follow me inside. I would fucking pull everybody in. Watch. I learned these things every single time. Every time, no matter what they said, I didn't even have to think. I already knew it. 
So I walked around fucking ready to kill everybody all day. So no matter who pulled up or who showed up, but I made seven, I made 800 grand a year selling cars. Dude, this is 15 years ago. I have made a million a year every year, minimum, for the last 10, 15 years. This is your time. Everybody's a fucking pussy out here. Nobody's stuck. The art of selling is gone. Everybody agree? Yeah. Do you guys agree the art of selling is fucking gone? Can you guys tell how obsessed I am with selling? I love it, dude. You guys want to be the best? Yes. You fucking be obsessed too. You want to be the greatest. Yes, sir. Can you just, I, before you get too far off, can you just repeat um, your actual word track? I got all the way down to, I uh, haven't given you enough, or enough info not to think about it. Oh, is there anything to think about it? Yeah. So when they, somebody <laughs> would say to me, I need to think about it. So if I was at the door, I'm going to use it to solar. If I was at the door and they say, oh, I really need to think about it. I'd say, oh, I totally understand. But I haven't given you enough information. Or I would say I completely understand. I would say, I would say I can, as a matter of fact, see, I, I have to rephrase it for solar. My, my deal would be I need to think about it. And I'd say I totally understand. I haven't given you enough information not, underline the not, to think about it. Like, dude, I get it. Like, because I, I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. Like, of course you need to think about it. Because, like, I haven't even given you anything to think about. And have we given them anything to think about at the door? No. So like, it makes sense, right? Like, guys, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. And then I want you to come up with this magical idea. I want you to say, what I would like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal. Call it a proposal. Don't say numbers, figures, and con. Don't just say, I'd like to give you a quick five-minute proposal. Is it going to take five minutes? No. Once a setter gets in there, he's going to fuck him up. Once a closer gets in there, he's going to do his job. My, you may say 15 minutes. I don't know. But I just say five. You know why? Because I want him to be there. Because once I get in, the closer is going to create interest. So I, all I'd like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal um, of, of how much money you'll save as a family. And then in the end, it's completely your decision. What am I doing here? I'm making them feel like they don't have to make a decision, which we are going to make them make a decision. But you don't want to tell them that. Listen to me, guys. You don't want to pull the rabbit out of the hat too fucking fast. Okay? Like, guys, listen to me. If you were hunting, right, would you guys go, bah! You're fucking stupid, right? The animal would fucking run away. Be careful for, like, negative words. Does that make sense? Okay? So, so anyways, but that's what I would say. Uh, of course you can think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal of how much money your family will be saving and how you'll be inflation-proof, right? And then, and then I say, and then, and my deal is always, in the end, it's completely your decision. Does that sound fair? I always end it. Does that sound fair? Because who are you going to say? No, that doesn't sound fair, right? Like, don't say, would you do that? Or don't say, could we look at that together? Don't fucking say that. Would that be fair? It's very, it's very, it's very easy to get them to agree with. Yes. 